Welcome to the podcast with Face, Pat, and Tiz. So uh, we, now that we got the business out of the way, man, I feel like we got. The business, man. I'm glad you said he's the right thing, cause I'm gonna tell you somebody else that ain't fucking right. Um, Will Smith just smacked the shit out of Chris Rock uh, last night. Um, now I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna let y'all go, cause I'm, I'm sure y'all have some uh, thoughts and uh, some opinions on this. <laughs> But I wanted to kind of lay some shut out and kind of throw my thoughts out there and see what y'all think about them. And then, you know, yeah. Um, so my brain went to two different places when I saw this smack uh, her around the world, as they call it. The first place my mind went to is like the PC thoughts. So I looked at it like uh, this is pretty much just like the end result. This is a drop in the bucket that was already on edge. And this was the one that made it overflow. Uh, media mm-hmm. coverage of his relationship has been relentless and at times overboard. Like, it's been kind of some unnecessary shit. Um, he's had his masculinity questioned for the past few years, which can definitely put a man into a defensive posture when he feels like he's run out of options and he has to defend himself. Um, I also looked at it from the angle of like, you know, men are definitely lacking emotional intelligence and self-confidence these days, which I feel like is leading to more incidents of violence. Uh, I'll get to that a little later after I let y'all kind of get your shit off. But yeah, I definitely think it's some some shit to the current man and how they're dealing with emotions. Um, and then I was like, you know what? Men should never handle anything publicly unless it's an apology or a thank you. So those were like my PC thoughts that I had. And my real nigga moments came in. And and I started to like look at this like, I was like, all right, fuck being a rational person. This is how Tiz think. Alopecia is not a goddamn terminal illness. You tell me Jada got cancer, some shit like that, HIV with a medicine that made her hair come out, something like that, I'm with you. Rally ho. Let's ride for Jada. But alopecia ain't no goddamn terminal illness. She just bald. She literally is just bald. That that's that's really all that it is. It, it ain't no more to that. She just bald. So why are we sitting here tripping like this is a big deal? She just bald. Then I thought, oh, go ahead. What you was about to say, Pat? I, don't want to I was going to say it, it because people, the common man is not going to know what alopecia is. I didn't know, to be God honest with you. And then every time you ever seen something in media where the, the disease or virus or the condition that they have makes the person bald, you instantly think cancer. And hey, look at me. Before, and then, before, before this joke, did you think Jada had anything wrong with her? Or did nope. you think she had just cut her hair? I think she just went crazy and cut her hair. Because she's been going crazy. <laughs> I knew she had I knew she had alopecia. So and I, I know alopecia is just a hair condition. <laughs> I'ma say this. <laughs> Men with premature baldness have been joked on for years, and not one person says anything about it. Mm-hmm. If at this point comedians can't even do the job they contracted for that we know that they're gonna do every year, this is not like just the first year comedians have hosted Austin and roasted to the crowd. Like this is almost a staple at all awards events in the industry. Like the host roast the audience. That's kind of part of it. It's a room full of celebrities. What the fuck else are comedians gonna do? So if they can't even do their job no more, they can't even joke on bald head people no more. They goddamn it, humor and comedy is fully dead. Um, now after I thought that my brain immediately went to nigga should have had that fucking energy for August I seen him. he ain't have none of that smack a motherfucking energy when it was uh entanglement time his hands won't entangle it nobody joined in 
And I bet that nigga wouldn't have done that shit to the rock neither. He really picked and chose his target. Like he made sure it was somebody that uh he thought he'd get that shit off on. I ain't say I don't see him doing that shit to no no nobody with no muscle. He ain't smacking Vin Diesel up. He ain't rolling up on Terry Crews, knocking the shit out of him. Somebody Fuck should, out of here though. with that shit. Um, Some, somebody and, should. And no, he won't protect no goddamn black woman. The nigga was being sensitive and his ego was hurt. Like, let's be clear. A nigga said a G.I. Jane joke. Not fuck your wife's alopecia. Not fuck you and your wife. Not your wife is horrible. Not your wife is a cheater and she's a, a, a harlot. Not your wife is dragging your name. He ain't say nothing about nothing, but your wife got obviously short hair, a very short haircut. G.I.J. too. That's a good joke. That 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 checks out. <laughs> if you don't get your sensitive asshole, Will Smith. Uh, now, I will say, like, yeah, he might have been on the edge, but man, fuck that. Get your sensitive shit out of here. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, what did y'all think about... Uh, this yeah. amazingly laid right hand smack that happened. I'll let you go first, Bear. Um, you might want to go first. I have a lot of thoughts. Okay. <laughs> so I feel I, I when I saw it, I clapped because I felt like Will gave an Oscar winning performance at the Oscars and then won an Oscar for a totally different performance because that shit won't real. That shit was fake as a bitch. So you have the cap that they feel. Like, if you ever, yes, I've slapped motherfuckers before, and I've been slapped. Nothing like that was in the realm of being slapped or slapping a motherfucker. The shit looks staged. I say it's two actors doing their job acting. You on the most, excuse me, for saying that the most white, one of the most whitest stages on national TV. Do you really think? the people that run that shit and allowed it to go national on TV would have let that know because any other time some shit would have happened on that show, they could stop it, make it whatever little excuse you want to know. It went out filmed on purpose. That was staged. No, Will that Smith, you saw the they whole like thing. A short time delay, slow it up and walk it. Yeah, understandable. Oh shit, there you go. That nigga understood too hard, didn't he? Yeah, he just went out. His connection. That nigga said, I understand. Fuck that shit, I understand. Bow. There you go. I don't think nothing like that. If something had that on the Oscars, we've never seen it. And I'm sure people have had disagreements or whatever on stage behind stage in the crowd, but you've never seen it. But this time, you do, right before he's it, right before he gets an Oscar. I think it's stage. Them niggas know each other. Them niggas seen each other backstage. You feel me? It like, for what they stand for and what they try to do for the culture and what they speak of, I don't see them niggas or see, see them two black men. We're gonna reference them tonight. We're gonna say these two black men doing that on that stage and being serious. No, he's a comedian. We seen the last time he was performing and hosted the Oscars, he did the same shtick. He was joking on Will and Jada. Okay, y'all back in the news, y'all was back popping last year. Of course, he's gonna do the same thing and joke on Will and Jada. Of course. He's I, seen the motherfuckers. They seen him before the show. Of course. He's the host of the fucking show. What what's the end game of this? Like with uh like with Juicy Smolet, he staged, you know, his little event. I, I can see the end game. You on the show, you're not sure about the show, you trying to pop off. It was it was on an award show. It's pure entertainment. That's what it is. And but look what how do they get out of this it. entertainment? It's entertainment. You got two of the biggest stars you, in Hollywood. Enter ratings. Look at their TV. name. Their, their names are being mentioned. Right before now, Will and Jada had faded out. We had p- people putting petitions in, so they couldn't come out and put, talk about their relationship. What is Chris Rock doing for them? Is that you feel me? Like hey, they, y'all their don't names think that the Academy Awards being a a, sh- a popular show with like pop culture that Will winning an Oscar, his first one, if I'm not mistaken, like that wouldn't have been huge news anyway. No, 
I feel like it's been drummed out by the same same normal Oscar news that's every year that people, there's not enough black people winning. Sure, we have one or two, but what about more? It'll been the same shit. So they changed their narrative by, okay, we're going to do this, bring this news to here. Or they could have flipped, or they're trying to flip the narrative either way because they could be like, okay, we let more black people on. Now look what happened when we did. Look at this. If they want to flip the narrative. Why would Will and Chris Rock go along with that staging if that was the ploy? I don't have their mentality, so I don't know. But my thing is, this shit won't real. I'm I'm sorry, I can't. I I won't and can't give into that shit being real. This shit didn't look real. The reaction that Chris gave won't want a realistic reaction to being slapped on national TV by another man. No, how Will walked off and smirked about it, like it won't. It won't. No, nah. it just won't serious enough to be okay. You joke on my wife. I'm gonna come up and defend her, but a slap. No. No, I I've seen Will Smith know. when he slapped the motherfucker. When that nigga tried to kiss Will Smith, okay. Yeah, CD that's what I'm saying. He, he got a history of throwing slaps, yeah. so to me, this shit checks yeah. out like in his, thing, in his okay, behavior. He's, a, he's pretty look nifty hustle. Slap. He look get annoyed, he's smacking nigga. Look at that slap. But my thing is, look at that slap compared to the, to the recent slap. Total difference. You can yeah, see the difference the in him, the difference in the mannerism. Mm -mm. not the spacing. I'm talking about the mannerisms. See how he walked off from both slaps. One, he walked off, he was still angry as shit. I just slapped the motherfucker. You tried to kiss me. The other one, I walked, I slapped the motherfucker and I walked off and I smirked. And then I caught myself and they got back to my seat. Fake as shit. Okay. Well, uh... I, put it, I put it like this. Just as real as that shit looked, the hmm. fights in Creed, the movie Creed looked real too, didn't it? It looked mm. really like Michael B. Jordan was hitting niggas in that movie Creed, right? Mm. Actors acting. I don't know. Well, yeah. let's put it in the realm that maybe it wasn't. Maybe if it was real. Okay. And this people just need to leave Will alone. I'm I'm on team Will leave Will alone, pretty much. Yeah. It, we don't need to go so let's therapy. So let's let's put in the to in the play that let's say it was real or whatever. Um, it's all it all goes back to Jada, man. It all goes back to Jada. You got like four or five years of people just demasculating you as a man. Yeah. Period. In that four or five years, there's it was actually a man trying to go up to you, kiss you, or whatever, or whatever. You had to slap him right then and there. That should have been that should have been first first warning. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's gonna be a lot of people with their takes. That's gonna happen. The the their five second. Uh, this is my expert opinion. It's gonna be somebody that say this is toxic masculinity. I think I just saw it on the view. Um, it's going to be some hotel nigga somewhere saying, see, this is what they do. They hit black men on this national stage so we can all look like we're monkeys in front of them on their stage and stuff. Um, it's going to be a few. I'm, I'm surprised Umar didn't do that, but I think he said <laughs> he's team Will because Philly or whatnot. Oh. So and and then he and then you're going to run on the train of Protect black women. Protect black women. Yeah, or I don't want to hear that shit about this shit, man. Fuck out of here, man. For, first so of you all, tell I us, think so Jada... you telling any nigga at a comedy show, his wife get joked on, he get he supposed to get up and punch a nigga, smack a nigga, hit a nigga, because he, cause, man, fuck out of here. Take a joke. The, this the other thing. You're going to also get the extra alpha male ass niggas that were, man, that couldn't be me, because if I was Chris Rock, man, it couldn't be me if I was Will. Either, either way, you still would have got smacked. Or security would have got you. Nigga ain't know that shit was gonna happen. He saw his homeboy rolling up on him. He ain't know that nigga was about to get smacked. He ain't realize that shit exactly. got real till that shit was too late. Exactly. Exactly. He was joking the whole time. Oh, Richard. <laughs> no, that wasn't Richard. He should have been that like, was... that nigga smack me in August. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what he should have said. And they would have got the, he would have got the crowd back. And it's but I don't know. Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, after he got um, slapped <laughs> to August or whatever, he didn't, he wasn't, he wasn't on his A game, but so much. 
or whatever, he still was perfect. Like you try to about, save you know, face and you just got the shit slapped out of you on national TV. Yeah. How 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 much of an A game do you have left? And you didn't and, do nothing. So so now you got like a million thoughts running through your head. Like, all right. First of all, I just got spat. Second of all, I ain't do nothing. How this about to look? What they gonna say? How many people done blown up my phone already before I even get off the stage? Oh shit! I still gotta fill this time. The teleprompter still going. Damn! What's the next award? Oh, like, I, yeah, that nigga. <laughs> Will, Will, Will has got to this point. He's persevered this far ahead, and he's actually um, over the years he has gone from okay the rap the rap dude that got his own sitcom to an actual serious actor to the likings of Denzel Washington. Mm. He's he's gotten to that point. In the midst of this point, his family yeah, he like Kanye at, West fucking up award shows. Yeah, at this point, at the side, just like Kanye. Well, no, nah, Kanye, he fucks his own shit up too. At this point, you're doing all this. You're looking like the perfect guy right now. Can't do no wrong with Will Smith, pretty much. But your family is running wild. Okay. Jaden's mm-hmm. out here. He don't know if you're a boy or girl today. Oh, shit. <laughs> he, he don't know. He don't know. And you're like, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna just let him be free. Whatever. Because Jaden is a perfect example of seeing a Black person free for the first time. Like, like have the full privilege and attributes of like high class American society, but you're black. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that. Jay Jay is doing all kinds of crazy shit. You gotta explain your son. Willow is agreeing with everything your crazy wife says. I apologize. Don't slap me, Will. But come on, man. Like you got this going on. Jada, I don't know what's up with her, but she has to open her mouth about stuff so she can feel real to her little fan base or whatever. Not to say she has a little fan base, excuse me, to say her red table fan base. She's putting that out there in the midst of trying to be real. Then you got this loose cannon by August Alcina coming out in his feelings saying, hey, I need to figure out some way to put myself out there again. I've been fucking Will's wife. Let me use this so I can get my name out there again and to get my music out there again. You deal with all of that shit. And at your moment, the one moment for you, you probably already knew you won the Oscar. You know what I'm saying? At this moment, here comes somebody coming around just bringing some type of just it will now mind you at first he was laughing and i think it was one of those laughs like <laughs> nigga i already got enough turmoil in my home you're starting more turmoil just, second of all this is your second time doing this talking about my wife and then we'll tell you what happened then, y'all the nigga was over there and he was already getting pissed the shit was said, and then next thing you know, when that camera cut away from him for the second, Jada said something to him like, you gonna let him talk about me like that? Mm-hmm. I can guarantee you she put a battery in that nigga back to go up there and do some dumb shit. And let me let me not, let me stop right there because I know it's going to be a lot of in, in Jada's offense. So like I told you, it's going to be everyone saying their thesis and think pieces about this situation or whatever because when I woke up, we doing I it right now. To the slap piece. Yeah, yeah, we're doing it right now. But mine's an anti-think piece or whatever. On Jada's behalf, everyone's going to say, um, that's what a man's supposed to do, defend his wife, which is true. Defend your wife. There's ways of doing it or whatever. Some women, some women, they like that shit. They get off on it. They get off on the rough stuff. They get off on, okay, he's talking junk. There's some women that you know you may go out and they might actually get into some shit just to see you in that element i've been put to the test a couple of times myself <laughs> whatever it happens 
she she gives me that vibe. She didn't at first. She does now. <laughs> Man, that nigga should have took that shit in the back though. Like you fucking Will Smith, you can get access to a green room if you really want one in there real quick, and you can holler at that nigga Chris Rock or something. Hey man, let me holler at you real quick. I don't like what you said with my wife. And y'all go in the room and you do whatever you want to do, and then y'all come on down and you keep it moving, and then you ain't got the paparazzi in your business, which is now going to give them more fodder to fuck with you more, which was I thought. And it seems to be the shit that's causing your fucking meltdown in the first place. Yes, that slap wasn't that slap. Chris Rock felt the slap. He was the sacrificial lamb, the martyr for yeah, for, for, the past for that years. slap. That slap is really was me snapping on Jada. That was every red table talk. That that was that was released in one snap. hit. He he was actually snapping on Jada. He can't say it, but he, in his head, yo, I am tired of her shit. I done went through all your shit and you still, you still testing my gangster. Oh, you, you gonna keep like, my time? No, it's this real is my deep. time. If you read his book like I am right now, a lot of this behavior makes a lot of sense. Like in that moment, I really feel like he felt like he was back in the position of that's my mother. I'm a defender this time. I'm gonna do something this time. Uh-huh. And I realized that in this situation, nobody's done anything to your fucking wife. It was a fucking joke, nigga. Take a guy. Like, I, I'm all about like somebody got a real physical disability of a terminal illness, um, like some type of mental illness. I'm with you. Don't joke on that. But joking on the person is almost like inhumane if you're a comedian and you're contracted to do that job, which is to host and basically roast people. Like, so I'm going to skip across every, I'm going to talk about everybody else in the room, but I'm going to leave y'all alone. Now that make you look weirder as fuck. I ain't mm-hmm. talking about them. They must have had something. They must have told him not to say nothing about nothing. Oh, there must have been some type of NDA where they couldn't, where he couldn't say, you know, like it's gonna be more shit. Like, nigga, fuck out of here. Take a joke. Nigga ain't say nothing that crazy. He didn't disrespect your wife, so I don't want to hear that protect black women. Like, get the fuck out of here, yo. If that had been, a, if that had been a woman clowning the the bald head husband of some actress, nobody gives a fuck. Uh uh-uh. But you trying to tell me because it was a black woman that had a bald head, we supposed to be like, stop the world for that shit? Man, get the fuck out of here. You miss me with that shit. And I'm all I'm about not, protecting black women, but this ain't no, this ain't one of them cases. Not this. I'm, this I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get on well. I'm not. So you I, I'm not gonna get on well? I wouldn't either. I'm not, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get I'm on well about it. Pause about it. I feel like if anything, and when, when it comes to Will, we just need to pray that he gets the help and that he definitely needs the help. Definitely the or help. Whatever. But I am going to get on everybody else. Um, I'm definitely going to get on the media and all the two cent bloggers that's out there that got to say something every five freaking seconds. I know that probably technically includes us, but yep, it it's. I mean. I I personally like the moment. I like that he slapped him. Chris Rock didn't, but I did. You know why? Because it made me laugh. And it made me look at him like, all right, Will Smith is a human. That's a human person. Because everybody can sit on a high horse, because that's all I've been seeing all day. That I've seen the red pill alpha male saying, Two sides or whatever. It's to some is the yeah. If it was me, I would slap the heck out of my. Oh, if it was, <laughs> I'm coughing my ass off. Uh, if it was, if it was me or whatever, I would have said something to Jacob or something. All the red people. This is a perfect example of misdirected mis- masculinity or whatever. And you know, there's gonna pe- be people on Jada's side. This is a perfect example of toxic masculinity. And this, that, and the third. Shut the fuck up, everybody. Shut No, nah, this the was just a super ass nigga that couldn't control himself in that moment. It was like, I can't take this shit no more. I ain't gonna be no bitch. Shut the, 
shut the fuck up, man. He's been having to have to to stand on his tippy toes and walk on his tippy toes and be Mr. Clean Cut all his motherfucking life. Let Will Smith have one nigga moment. Kanye has a nigga moment every week. And y'all give excuses to his shit all the fucking time. Yes, they Let Will Smith to die. have his nigga moment. I hope they burn it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want to your family all right there, boy. Yeah, damn. Let let Will Smith have his nigga moment, man. That nigga has survived disses from Eminem. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's just disses from the hip hop culture, saying he's too soft or whatever. Yeah. Comparisons by Tupac or whatever. And to be God honest, be to be God honest. He is the, between him and Jay-Z, he's the only other Negro out here or whatever that can be compared to a Tupac or whatever. And the, and the same people that's comparing him to those Tupacs, if you put him to, towards Tupac, Tupac is going to be like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I say, let Will Smith have his nigga moment. Okay, he has a sensitive moment or whatever. What not? What like if if it was all right, yeah, it's in, in front of the public and stuff like that, whatnot. If if it was any other, it was in the streets or whatnot, we would have been in the barbershop saying, Yeah, you should have punched that nigga. Everyone's in the wrong. Everyone's in the wrong. Everyone that's saying that somebody's wrong in the situation is in the wrong. <laughs> Or whatever. The Oscars is in the wrong for putting Chris Rock up there, and they know they're gonna give they're gonna give um, Will Smith the Oscar. Technically, I'm not saying for real. No, bro. I'm not not saying that. Hey, Everyone's in the wrong. We, I, <laughs> I can't, I can't. I respect what you're saying, but I can't roll with giving another black man a pass. On doing some dumb shit on on fucking national television, just because he had a sense of moment. Like I ain't about to keep giving niggas a pass. I don't give a damn how funny it was. Like, yeah, did I laugh at the memes? Absolutely. Do I condone what he did though? Hell no. I think that shit was stupid. Like, I don't think I don't condone it either. either if you want to fight the nigga that bad, do that shit in a way that don't make you look stupid at the end of the day, or embarrass you at the end of the day, or take away from your real moment. Like, to me, there's other ways to handle it, especially like, if we're talking about some 20 year old men, that's different. When I was young, I thought differently, so I can understand the mentality of like a young person like popping off. Like, I get that mentality. I get why the Source Awards used to be a problem. You got a bunch of young 18 to 22 year old men full of testosterone, alcohol, and reefer pissed at each other. So I, I get that. But we talking about what is Will? Fifty some year old man. Will pushing sixty. <clears throat> you mean to tell me in all of these years you ain't been to nothing or been through nothing that that taught you more? Like take you when you twenty one in that same situation. I can see you going up and smacking a nigga, but you now at thirty eight, I don't see you. I don't see that being your very first impulse and if that is your impulse I don't see you acting on that in that way in that particular moment with all of the other surrounding circumstances I'll be honest I don't see any one of us doing that nah, I definitely wouldn't do that if that was the case yeah. one of us would have already had an assault charge in the past 10 years for some road rage accident some shit at the gas station some grocery store somebody who done did something dumb at a job like somebody would have got smacked already we come from that TTG type of mentality. Well, I'm just gonna smack the shit out your name. I ain't even about to, we ain't about to do all this. Yeah. But the fact that we have it, that shows like as you get older as a man, like at some point you gotta have some maturity about your shit. Cause now like, think about how this look. One of the last bashes of black manhood that wasn't yet tainted by like, all right, you gotta do some old ignorant shit to be cool. Now he, now he the face of smacking a nigga. 
So if I'm that young nigga that was holding out, man, you got people like Will Smith still, man. He ain't hitting nobody. You know, Kendrick Lamar ain't out here fighting nobody. Man, now you get somebody like that that's now, oh, no, this nigga hitting people too. Well, I guess shit, I guess I got to do, do got to go to school, knock this nigga the fuck out. He talking that yeah. bullshit. Beat his ass in third period. And I'm going to do it for the gram because Will Smith did it for the Oscar. I think he did it on the biggest gram. Like, I mean, it's, it's, it, it, don't get me wrong. The real nigga shit to me, like, I, I get it. Yeah. But not for the age. Like, you're not giving me, no, I'm not about to sit there and roll with, like, and be like, yeah, that shit cool. That a 50 something year old grown ass man. And again, you tell me that Chris Rock makes a direct joke about the alopecia, like, oh, fuck that disease, or you, you messed up for having that disease, or, you know, something like that. Cool. I, I get you. I can, I can kind of understand you. That G.I. James, you, man, I, I'd have ran back the joke a good 20 times now before we uh, came. Man, no. Nah. You should be able to hold your shit a little better than that. And catch that nigga slipping. Like, y'all gonna be at the same damn after party. Where it ain't no cameras, ain't no paparazzi. It's just you and a bunch of other celebrities. The most only way that shit getting out of it was another celebrity taping that shit. Well, you, by, you, um, dog shit out of the nigga. Y'all, 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 you fucking Will Smith. You can catch that nigga coming in the green room at the end of the show. The damn ca- credits rolling, and all of all of a sudden you just hear over the mic. Ooh, 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 ah, ah, ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah, ah. And the show go off. Don't nobody know what happened. You just. Somebody must have fed up the stairs. God damn. Like, man, come on. <laughs> come on, man. Like, Greatest moment in this um, society. History. We getting sick, yo. We are getting so desensitized to dumb shit that, like, we are getting sick, bro. <laughs> like, think about this. <laughs> we... <laughs> People are happy that a 50 something old man just smacked the nigga over a G.I. Jane joke. <laughs> practice. We talk about practice. Not a game. Not a game. Practice. Greatest performance I've seen on the office. Oh no. Well, they said they pieced it up by now because they 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 you know Puffy was being the peacemaker or whatever. He knows about you know he has a past experience of you know Smacking. slapping. Being slapped, <laughs> uh, fighting, and piecing it up later with liquor. So, yeah. I don't see so I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure they already I don't know will. Chris, Chris Rock, man, you got to go catch your fade, bro. You need no harm. At this point, as a man, I, don't, I ain't talking about for the public so that everybody know that you caught the fade, but it's, as a man, you got to... Y'all got to meet up at one of y'all mansions. Go out in the backyard and just scrap that shit out real quick. Like you, you got it. You you can't let that shit slide though. I ain't, I ain't about to say that. That's right either. Like oh, you know, be the bigger man. Like on TV, I think he did the right thing. Like cause that shit, he that mm-hmm. shit would have been a broom ha ha. That shit would have been way worse. Two fifty something yeah. old men rolling around on the ground at the damn Oscars, looking a hot ass mess. <laughs> ain't but ain't but seven niggas in the audience as it is, and then two of them beat the shit out of each other. So I'm glad yeah. that it didn't go that route too. But a fade is warranted as men. A private fade, not for the public, not for an audience. Don't yeah. size up the paparazzi and get y'all name out there more crazy shit. Just beat the shit out of each other in, in private, and then get some Hollywood makeup artists to come make y'all look normal for a minute till that shit heal up. But a fade is an order. Because you ain't gonna smack, you ain't, smack me, spit on me. Them two things can't happen. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I'd rather you just go ahead and knock the shit out. Just go ahead and knock me out there. Yeah, you know, wake up. And don't have At to least worry then about I could be like, hey, man, that nigga drop me with a sucker punch. I ain't have a chance to defend myself, but a smack, a smack and you eat it. 
I I I think you did the right thing as a grown up on national TV with a teleprompter still rolling in the credit and, and then waiting on you to announce the thing. Now, I don't know what else you could have done other than have a broom ha ha. So I'm glad you didn't do the broom ha ha on TV. But today, as I'm as we record this, an epic battle should be happening in, in one of y'all niggas' backyard. <laughs> Like epic proportion. I don't care if y'all take that shit into the to one of y'all gyms. I know y'all got them whole gyms. I know how y'all crib set up. I know y'all got a it's some space at the crib in, in a villa somewhere or something where y'all can beat the shit out of each other because that needs to happen. That that's yeah. Don't give a damn who it is in this earth. I love you, Jesus. But you smack me and we gonna catch the fade. I don't mean no harm. Like, I, I, I don't know that I have the temperament. I was just talking to my boy today riding home. He was reading about the civil rights movement. He was like, and they were spitting on the girl Ruby Bridges and, and throwing stuff at her daddy. And she was so tough. I was like, you're right, son. She's a lot tougher than your father. He was like, why, daddy? I was like, well, son. Daddy would have probably got lynched back in the day, son. You mean hang daddy? <laughs> yes, son. <Yeah. laughs> daddy would daddy does not have the fortitude to just sit there and let somebody spit on me, son. Daddy would have stole, daddy would have knocked one of them out, son. And daddy would have got shot at that time, son. Yeah. Daddy would not have made it any time before the time he was born, son. Daddy didn't have that type of toughness. That's why people like Martin Luther King and Rupert Bridges was here, son. To do the things that daddy could. Because daddy would have been <laughs> dead, baby. Like, I literally had that conversation. Today. Like, I don't have that fortitude. Like, I'm I'm, I'm talking about what should happen. Now, as a 38-year-old mm -hmm. man, first of all, I ain't going up and smacking nobody. So that, that's, I ain't in this situation. But once you're smacked, you're in license to do it up. Like, you can't smack somebody and tell no matter how to react. Like, once you smack, whatever happens after that, you are completely warranted in your response. Because you shouldn't have gotten smacked. You didn't ask for that. That was not part of your day. Your rights have been infringed upon. Go to work. Chris Rock, Chris Rock did kind of have that, that, that smirk, like, man, if this wasn't national television or whatever, man. but... Um, Chris, Chris Rock's teeth are the size of si soundproof paneling. He should have <laughs> bit the fuck out of Will. Oh, you want to throw your head? Ah! And he should have locked jawed on them fingers and not let go. He should have made them play the It's a Rap music and go to and go to the technical difficulty sign. Like, he should have bit the fuck out of that nigga. Ray B's the hell out of him. Right there. Oh, so you, you smack. I got I, I saw it coming. Me tell you so got big eyes and big teeth, and you could react at night. Ha, ha, ha. It was coming right here. It was coming right here. Ha, ha, ha. Look at that. Ha. It's a quick. Turn. I can actually see him doing that. Why not? Mm -hmm. If you miss, well, you know now it's a joke. And I don't care who you are. If you go to smack somebody and them niggas, you just feel teeth go across the palm of your hand, yo. You're going to laugh. Like you're gonna be so shocked. And, Did this nigga nibble me? What just happened here? They tried to bite me. Like situation diffused immediately. You, you either have just defended yourself in the most epic way possible, or you have completely diffused the situation with comedy. Either way, black people win and, and men over the age of 35 don't look stupid as hell on TV. Now get that hand skin out your teeth because I know you scraped some of that hand skin on your teeth. Like all this situation gave that. us was one old man was one old man that looked stupid and one old man that looked like a sissy. That's all this gave us. The world the nobody gained out of this. This is a lose, 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 the fucking lose. <laughs> we all took a L last night as that smack landed. That was a collective smack to the world. Psh. Show you fuckers. Everybody losing tonight. I'm take Will Smith with Kamikaze on <laughs> every every group he's a part of. All his intersectionalities just took a collective L. 
men, psh, men over 35, psh, black men, psh, older men, psh, business men, psh, professionals, psh, <laughs> whack rappers. Psh. Uh, God bless us. Our society going to hell, y'all. I, I don't think you fellas are real. <laughs> we, we going to shit. Oh, no. <laughs> See, this is the thing, though. You know how yeah, I feel about humans. You know how I feel about humans. Yes. Uh, do you think I'm, it's I'm really about to worse? Be, hey, yo, yo, you and Sophia. You think it's it. really worse, or do you think it's been the same? Bro. I personally think it's the same. We just have more actual recorded examples of how humans are stupid. Humans have been stupid for the past <laughs> no. billions of years. See, when I say we go into shit, it ain't the stupidity that surprises. We have an equal amount of stupidity. But mm -hmm. stupidity used to be the minority and what we laughed at, not laughed with. That wasn't the fun stuff. That was the like, man, if you don't get your dumb ass out of here, like, what the fuck are you doing? Hey, baby, you're making us look bad. <laughs> Nowadays, the world has collectively said, Fuck you, nigga, I got kids to feed and has lost a fucking mind <laughs> and, and is tripping and, and and the worst part is, as they trip, we are desensitized to it and are like, okay with it. Like, we are either part of the camp that enjoys it or part of the camp that has kind of just resolved to the fact of, it's just where we at, then. I'm in the camp where I have lost all hope since I was 12. So this shit is no surprise to me. Yo, Sophia, Sophia got a got a point, man. Maybe it, it might be time. Go ahead and have your baby, human, Sophia. It might be time. Humans, humans go on human. They've been humaning <laughs> since the dawn of existence. <laughs> They've been what? Human humans are going to human. Humaning. They've been human doing the human thing. The human in the dawn of existence. Well, human in the name. since we already human in the name, let's get into more what the human culture is doing this week, man. It's that time, Pat. It <laughs>